Sadhu Sundar Singh was a Christian missionary who was very active in the early 1900s, preaching in northern India and surrounding areas. Although born in a Sikh family in 1889, Sundar converted to Christianity as a teenager. He suffered harsh rejections not only from members of his family, such as his brother who attempted to poison him, but from people in the area, some of whom even threw snakes into his house. He was able to escape the abuse with the help of a British Christian. Sundar was baptized on his 16th birthday by an Anglican priest and dedicated himself to Christian missions. He would travel to preach so often, in such harsh conditions and with such humble resources, that he came to be known as the Apostle with the Bleeding Feet. Although Sundar began formal training for Christian ministry in 1909 at an Anglican college in Lahore, he disliked the influence that British culture had on much of the Indian church and was uncomfortable with the formal, European-style stipulations placed on him that he felt were unnecessary. He withdrew from the seminary after eight months. Something else that Sundar Singh rejected, at least in his later years, was the concept of anyone suffering an everlasting torment in hell with no opportunity for escape or restoration. He wrote that, No spirit can exist forever if separated from God by sin or evil. It must either cease to exist or return to God who is the source of life. There is no spirit which will ever cease to exist. Therefore, every spirit finally must return to God, even though it may be after ages of ages. The time will come when nothing will remain which is discordant and against the will of God. When even the hells will have fulfilled their purpose, then, finally and eternally, God will be all in all. In 1929, Sadhu Sundar Singh made a final trip to Tibet and is believed to have died there, although there is no record. In the Church of England, he is remembered with a commemoration on June 19th.